What up, y'all? Welcome to a Zendikar Rising Draft League. We were going to do it on Arena, but two things. I don't have gems on Arena right now. And, uh... Also, uh... There was a vote in the chat. And they voted for MTGO. And also, the third reason is that, uh... You know, um... I can't think of the reason. Hold on, what was the third reason? Oh, MT uh, Arena was having issues. Sajiri so Shelter. Okay. Two, three for two. Put a basic land card in and return a basic land. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Four, four flyer. Whenever you kick a uh, spell, scry two. Yeah, I think we're taking Merfolk Falconer for sure. That seems pretty decent. Cascades here. Why? Like, I I wish they had all the all the arts here. That'd be great. And there's Battlefield Scry X Rex and more creatures in your party. I mean, that's that guy's just good. I'm just gonna take the the Merfolk Falconer. Four four flyer for four is pretty great. Wow, no arts whatsoever. That's frustrating. Uh oh, this is the uh, Jesus. Some have arts when you zoom in. Some don't. Uh, counter non creature spell less control pays one. When it enters the battlefield, put a 1-1 counter on each for each creature in your party. I'm pretty sure every card in this format is going to be uh, a creature within a party. Eh, Palaka Cavern is meh. Look at the top. I mean, like, being a visual person and this being a brand new set, this is actually really frustrating. Like, I feel like there's no excuse to not have all the arts here. Gain two life for each... I mean, this is just a 3-4... Okay, I guess we're taking that. Arena has art on the cards. Yeah, if it can stay up, I guess you can see it. Hey, almost full set. Course Celebrant... Uh, it's just basically, um, actually one three for two that is a land as well, or three two for Shut four up, as long as you draw a wizard when this dies, draw a card, sure. Extra buck to buy the art unlock. Yeah, that's the DLC. Uh, three three for three when it enters the battlefield, if it was kicked, return a card with kicker from your river to your hand. That's actually pretty good. Hmm. That guy seems great. Yeah, I'm just taking that. I don't think we're committing to any specific color combination right now. I also missed half a pack worth of picks because arena servers were garbage earlier today. It seems to have chilled out now, though. Yeah, but still. I do like an Expedition Diviner. Another Skyclave Cleric. Skyclave Cleric. Smite the Monstrous is a classic. Stonework pack, patch be, pack Beast. Just upgraded uh, Prismite. So a 2-1 for 2. When it enters the battlefield, it was kicked. Returning to instant sorcery. That guy's not terrible. Limit. I'm just going to take the Expedition Diviner. It's a 3-2 flyer. Thank you. I got that lave tave. The lave tave. Gamma set with the resub. I appreciate you, buddy. Okay. Three mana for a three three when enters battlefield. You and each opponent draw a card. Target and each and target opponent draw a card. Not each opponent. Uh, Balagad recovery. Yeah, that seems good. Another shepherd of heroes. Interestingly enough, this is a plant elemental, so it does not... Oh, Tangled Floro he drawn. 
Uh, the first kick spell, it costs one less. Whenever you cast a kick spell, put a one on counter on this guy. It's definitely one of these two. The green seems pretty good here. Of course, our first deck is going to be blue green. That's. I actually think this is probably better. Especially because we're trying to get some kick spells. Yeah, let's do a kicker theme. 1-1 one, one for 1 with a death touch. I like it. Blood Beckoning returns two creatures, right? Yeah, I'll just take the 1-1 one, one for 1. It also is a rogue, so it does add to our party. It's just a 1-3 for 2 whenever it blocks a creature, that creature doesn't untap. Yeah, that's actually not bad. Put a 1-1 one, one counter on up to 1 creature, gain 2 life, play an additional land draw card. I'm going to take this, actually. This card just seems sweet. Uh, search library for basic land. If you kick it, search library for 2 basic land. I think this card's good. Draw a card, play a land, gain a life, and put a 1-on-1 counter on a thing. Uh, counter, eh. Actually, this could be good, right? We have Merfolks, Rogues, Wizards, Lizards, Wizards and Lizards. I mean, it's probably better than Broken Wings. Plus one, plus one for, th eh, we'll just take the, sure. Put a 1-on-1 counter on a creature, sure. It's also a Warrior, which is not bad. Yep, probably not playing Strength of Solidarity. Shut up and take my money. Deadbig, I really want to watch you draft, but I am way too tired to have a good stream. Deadbig, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. I will see what I can do. Sure. Eh, sure. I mean, it's a, it's a one-four rogue, so it's got reach. It's got a creature type. Ooh, inscription of insight seems great. Not only does it have kicker, but it's really versatile. Two three when it enters with a one-one counter for each color of mana spent to cast it. So. Unlikely to be more than a 4-5, but still not bad. 3-2 um, for 4 that draws us a card. I think it's just inscription here. Makes a creature, draws 2 cards, and returns up to 2 creatures. Sure. Plus we can kick it, and we have 2 other cards that... Actually, being able to... Like, you can actually cast this and still get it back with, uh, with the Sproutling. Like, it doesn't matter whether you kick it or not, just to be clear. I know that might be obvious. Three two for three. When enters battlefield of his kick, return him to one other creature. Yeah, that seems great. I mean, this is just a bounce spell unlimited, which is all you can really ask for. How's the format so far? Considering this is the first draft I've ever done, and I'm twelve cards in. Well, seventeen cards in. I could not tell you. Oh, Paragon is pretty sweet, and it's got Kicker. Another Sproutling. Stomper, 6-5 for 6 with Trample. When I was about to return, up to 2 lands to control their owner's hands. 3-3 three, three for 3, blank. I think we're just taking the Paragon here. And hopefully that other dude will... Oh, what is this? Whenever you cast a Kick spell, gain 2 life, and it's 2-4 for 3, and it adds mana? Yeah. We're living the dream here, boys. Rabbit Bite seems good, too, but... 
Um, there seems like a lot of three drops in this format, and that's kind of unfortunate. Five four for five that gains you three. It's totally fine. Another three drop. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the five drop. Oh, another low mage is familiar. I mean, this. I mean, this is just good by itself, right? I mean, playable, playable. This is gonna be like a six drop. I'm, not, I'm unlikely to cast that. These are fine. This is preferably a five drop, and this could be a land. So, I would also say met overall with no, with no bolus. Another three drop. When it enters a battlefield, it was kicked. All creatures able to block it do so. That guy's probably unbeatable. Anti-cognition. We just saw that. It didn't have art in the last pack. This one it does. Yeah, we're just taking the unbeatable card. Again, another rabbit bite, which is nice. But oh, the another sproutling in this in this economy. Yeah, we're just taking that. <laughs> that guy's just good. Where did it go? Over here. Okay. Um, eh, four mana when it dies, draw a card. Sure. Don't care about that. Yeah, we'll just take this guy. I'm just gonna take the card in our color. I am gonna open like a price guide, so I don't wanna. So, I mean, because this is Magic Online, we are keeping the cards. I don't wanna like pass a $30 card or something, which is basically just Omnath and Seagate Storm Color and Scourge of the Skyclaves and all of the mythic other dudes. Eh. Just take Stomper here. I'll take lands. I like land. Uh, kick spell. Actually, maybe this card's not terrible. 5-5 five, five if you kick it. It also isn't a defender, so you could attack with it as an 0-5. See what they do. And then get in there. Yeah, this guy's... Oh God, there's so many 3-drops in this format. They're like, hey man, everyone's going to be kicking these things, so just make them all 3-drops. Oh, Magmatic Channeler is real good. Is that guy not worth anything? It's like four tickets. Is that worth it? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing in this pack. Like, I would probably take a second Cunning Geyser Mage or a Vastwood Fortification, but I think I'm just taking the four tickets at this point. Yeah, I mean, that's a pack. That's a... Literally a third of a, of a of a league, so get that money. <laughs> uh oh, is this the cause is oh this is just a oh that's interesting. Are those worth anything? Kind of. Yeah, it's a dollar. Yeah. Whenever a land enters the battlefield, this is a four three for four that becomes a six five. Yeah, that guy seems good. This guy doesn't seem uncommon. This guy seems really strong. Man, value drafting on Moto was, was bonkers. There'll be times you can open like 50 ticket cards. I feel like the prices have gone down quite a bit because of Arena, but Magic Online's still doing fine, I think. And there's another Cunning Geyser, Geyser Mage anyway. If this didn't enter tapped, I think it'd be great. 
Uh, bubble snare is actually pretty solid. Let's take the bubble snare. I think our deck's looking pretty good. I wouldn't mind having another two drop. When are you gonna come down? What is this? Put charge counter on the throne. Roof yeah, I don't care about that. <laughs> Draw your disruption counter spell unless it's so this is just sensor, but it acts as a land. Ca double cascade seers. Draw a visionary. I might just take the disruption here. I mean, it seems like just a fine card to play as a Nahiri's litho forming. So this is a card that people have been really bananas about. because of the combo applications, but it is only 17 cents, so I don't care that much. Maybe it's Foil Island, guys. <sighs> Two one trample for three that gets a counter every time we put a land into play? I'll just take this guy. Ooh, Grackmaw seems pretty sweet. Can we splash that? <sighs> we don't have any of the searching cards. We just have, I don't think it's this, this, oh, yeah, maybe it's the second Canopy Bailoth, actually. I think you sell it. I don't think Omnath's going to go up. Um, it's either Canopy Bailiff or just take the Grackmaw and try to splash it greedily, but I don't think we're going to actually do it successfully. Yeah, I'm going to take Bailoff. I'm going to feel better with my choices. Um... If it's a Warrior Cuts Plus, yeah, I'll just take Relic Axe. God, this pack's pretty rough. One less for each creature in your party, so ideally this costs three mana. I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah. Eh. Uh, whatever. It's a big dude. Oh, Cutting Geyser Mage came back. That's pretty sweet. I'll take another Geyser Mage. Field research is another kick spell that just is fine in our deck. This is 26 cards and some of these are lands. Another two drop is a chill clerk, sure. And we have, I think we do have a broken wings on our sideboard, but I don't think we need a second one. Oh, Cascades here. We were looking for one of those. So this is 27, but we also have uh, one... two lands so this is actually like 25 I could take out the concerted defense eh, that came back if you control another wizard draw a card will we be controlling another wizard that's an elf wizard all right that's something giant cleric that's a wizard Geyser mages are wizards. This is a wizard. Yeah, all right. So that seems pretty likely. Uh, Paragon is a wizard. I assume Vine Gecko is a wizard. The lizard. Dang it. So close. Sword by Converted Mana Cost. This deck looks so much worse when you sort it by Converted Mana Cost. Double Lull Mage in this deck could be really good. Because let's look at our kicker cards. Kicker. Uh, Bailoffs are great. Inscription is an 8 mana kicker, but I mean, I'll just play it here. Is this whenever you play a kicked spell? Yes. Okay, so it does have to be kicked. 5 drops. Field research is a 6. Cunning geysers are 6s. So we need one more cut. Probably the Blight Blade, actually. We have 18 creatures. It's plenty. And plus we have one green and one blue already in the deck, so... Wow, I'm liking that already. Um, Probably 8-7, yep, that's what I was thinking as well. 15 lands plus the other two lands. This deck looks sweet. 
I mean, I don't think we're going to have... I don't think you'd have so many modal land cards that you really can't just, like, do the math, you know? Because I feel like you're just like, oh, well, I can see them. Uh, any modal land cards? No. Okay, so we're going to ship this. And we will keep this. Ali Cortez, good games, good games. Vintage, the Supreme Vintage Cube is pretty, pretty wild. I have no idea what to make of it. I want to put a blue black, blue black, blue, blue black. Oh, fuck it. You guys know what I'm saying. I'm going to put an island back. Two recalls, two to time walking. Mile. That's the thing though. Like all the decks are so broken because you're opening 18 packs, right? In a regular vintage cube, you can probably get one or two pieces of power and you open three packs. Like <laughs> opening 18 packs is pretty insane, especially when you get to take two cards out of each one. Ooh, Umar Wizard's nice. It doesn't have flying, though. It gets flying if you play a wizard or an instant or sorcery. Uh, okay, that's pretty good. Maybe you'll get a replacement. Let me check something else. Uh, I want to see... Okay, let's pop this guy back. Party! Party of one. That's hilarious. How will I know what party I have? Whenever you cast... So it's we Dragonauts. That's all you need to know, really. Maybe we'll get a replacement. Eh. There's no point in attacking another 1 3. Trample whenever a land enters battlefield under control, but it won't counter out. So we can actually go Territorial Scythe Cat. And then also cast a uh, play our Jawari Disruption as a land. I'm not kicking this, right? They're just drawing two. Sure. I'll take three in the air. My opponent probably fouling, prowling Felidar, and I have no hard removal, so I guess. What does that What does that do? Tell me what it does. Tell me all about it. Did they miss a land drop? Well, that's pretty wild. Um, Some landfall BS, I'm sure. Party of one, story of my life. Emo music begins playing. Dude, I fell into the... Uh... Oh, I don't like that. Um, I fell into the emo... There was like a... I, there was a... a... Oh, fuck, what was the video? I think it was a Get Up Kids video on my recommended YouTube videos. <laughs> And I was just like, oh, fuck, let me look at all these new American football videos. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. This is six. I think we just... I think we just draw here, try to hit a land. I, I think it's... The only benefit is one card and two lands, so... We can still play Dauntless Survivor. I think hitting a land here is pretty important. Okay. Yeah, that guy's big.
ate you. We have a lot of life gain here. We gained two from the Taunting Arbor, Ar Arbor Mage kicked. We gained three from the Turn Timber Ascetic, and we just win the game. Okay. I mean, we're definitely bringing Broken Wings in. And then we're just going to submit because we're Maniacs. Oh, yeah. 41. Didn't even look. Long hair. Don't care, my dudes. We'll have to mulligan, but that's okay. Told you. Uh, okay. On the play, can we hit runner runner for this little mage is familiar? Do you like Julie Dorian? I've never heard of her. Whatever. I'm the one who made the joke about paying four grand for a PS5. Dude, I was like I was like, why would you do that? Um yeah, I got one. I got one on uh, last night at like three AM Best Buy restocked and I put an order in with those dudes. Um I'm actually going to send the two big boys back. Actually, we have a four drop. I think I'd rather keep inscription. Actually, I think it's I think Merfolk Falconer is probably going to be better. As long as we can hit land land. How many modals? What does that even mean? What are you saying right now? Are you talking about my modal lands, bro? I'll take one. You got it. Oh, uh, I did not. I got the physical one. I, I like having the, the disc drive. Because sometimes I, I... Sometimes I just order games, the physical copies. And sometimes I uh, want to watch Blu-rays. So... Plus the fact that I have four copies, four games right now that are physical. Um, just, I have no reason not to get the physical. Or else I just have to rebuy those. <sighs> like it's just like a hundred bucks more for like a blu-ray player and play your old ps4 games right like and that's a good enough so they just bounce this oh they into the royal did so they they did draw a card unfortunately come on land that's not a land, but you could provide us a land. You piece of shit. Absolute trash. Uh, I actually disagree. You say it's nice to actually own your games and not pay hundreds of dollars for a box that's at the mercy of a service. I, I disagree. Uh, I'm not worried about stuff like that because, like... <laughs> It's like, I mean, there's a very... Living in 2020 and not having respect for, like, intangible media is really weird to me. Because it's like, everyone has Netflix, everyone has Spotify, everyone has, you know, Hulu, whatever. You know, it's like, you've already accepted the fact that, like, you're paying for media um, that you're not necessarily able to touch. Like, I could care less about physical media, dude. I, I've gotten rid of so much physical media in the past 10 years. Every time I move, I get rid of more physical media. Yeah, I've definitely lost games. I've loaned games out to people. Like, the fact that I can turn on my PlayStation and have just 10 games in my account that I have to pick. I don't have to get up, find the disc, open it up. Oh, no, the disc isn't in the in the case. Oh, no, where is it? Put the disc into the drive. Wait till it load up. Oh, it broke. Oh, no, I stepped on it accidentally. I'm a fucking idiot. Like, I just don't have to do these things. And it's like... You know, it's just like, the thing is, I don't have this fear of, like, Sony's PlayStation server is ever going to go down. Like, it's 2020, dude. Like, it's just not happening, right? Like, if it happens in 15 years, if the PlayStation server goes down in 15 years and, like, all my games are gone, like... I mean, I'll play something else. I'm not going to, like, mourn all these games that I lost that I, that I probably would never play more than once after I beat them. You know, I'm not going to be playing Mortal Kombat 10 in, like, 15 years, you know? So it's like, 
I, I'm just not worried about it. You know, it's just like not a concern. I'd, I, the space to me is worth so much more. Like the physical, I forgot to play this as a land because I'm like literally on this rant here. Oh, interesting. The downside of this card. Oh, it's up to one. That's pretty nice. You kill this guy? Just gonna tap it? Okay. Like, dude, back in the day, like, in my car, I would have, like, one of those big CD cases with, like, 80 CDs in them. And I'd be like, what do I want to listen to today? Let me take this disc out, put it in. Like, physical media is, is not only so cumbersome, but it's slow and clunky. And it takes up so much space in your house. Dude, every time I get rid of physical media, it's just like... Eh. I, I just it, it, it's just like a load off I'm just like okay cool I don't have to like carry this around anymore I don't know maybe that's a weird perspective but it's how it is bro I just, I, I think I, I feel extra strongly about this because people used to do this. People used to, to talk about this same thing about Magic Online. Like whenever I would like promote Magic Online, they would be like, yeah, but you don't own the cards, you know, and that sucks. Why am I paying for it twice? And I'm like, yeah, you don't own the cards, but like, Jesus, look how much, like there's so much space in my house that's devoted to like magic cards and boxes and like shit like that. Like literal hundreds of pounds that I have to move every single time. But, like, you know, that's... You know, I appreciate Pair, but, like, the fact that I can, like, log into Magic Online literally anywhere, and play, or, or Arena even, you know, and play anywhere at any time, like, that's worth something. That's worth so much more than, like... Than like physical like I want to hold this common card in my hand like who gives a shit like that's worthless dude I've thrown away more magic cards than I own <laughs> you know like it's wild like people put such a value on like tangibility and I'm just like it doesn't mean anything the experience is playing the game and like interacting with people and like as long as you're doing that like who gives a shit if it's like a physical piece of paper you hold in your hand Tap another untapped rogue you control. Can't be blocked. Sure. So many rogues, dude. Four mana, huh? Well... Can't take advantage of that, but can't be blocked this turn. When he deals combat damage to player, draw a card. That guy seems great. Sold the Omni for 26, probably gonna go up to 40. The problem is you never know. Like it could go up to 40 or it could just plummet to 14. The thing is like only more packs are going to get opened on Magic Online, you know? Thank you. Oh, Mike, what up, dude? Thanks so much for the resub, buddy. I appreciate you. Yeah, there's no world I don't attack with this guy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, 
dude like there's so many times where like i go from like wanting to play red dead to like wanting to play mortal Kombat, right or like want to toss in spider-man and these are three i have like four games on disc spider-man uncharted 4 red dead redemption 2 and mortal Kombat, the newest one and there's so many times where i'm just like i just want to switch games but i have no desire to like it sounds lazy right i have no desire to get up and like switch this game but the thing about it is it's not lazy it's just don't i just don't feel like doing it like it's just like like and if i have to do this every single time and the next time i want to play a game i gotta go do it and the next time i gotta play a game I gotta do it. like it's just it's just tedious and it's just annoying and i'd much rather just click the game that i want to load from my my playstation account my sony account you know i feel like they're way ahead right now i can't actually gauge this uh return instant or sorcery yeah that's pretty good i'm not lazy i just hate moving i did beat star wars fallen order um fallen order is that what it's called let me check I'll check my games it's not in there anymore i uninstalled it because i beat it dang it oh they brought back into the royal so they can bounce this guy that's pretty good Dark seems good Why aren't games like on PC with CD key? What do you mean? Like, mean, what do you mean? How was it? It was great. It was great. Okay, this guy's pretty bananas. But even if you had like a CD key, you'd still have to like install. Well,. It's plus one plus O oh, for each creature in your party. Did you ever finish Death Stranding? No, couldn't do it. Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Fourteen. We can deal fourteen next turn. That's pretty funny. Did you ever get to the first Hicks box boss fight? What does that mean? I fought a dude in a gold mask in Death Stranding. That was like the farthest I'd gotten. Yep, this guy's really just going to town so is that guy I guess thank you why have you been avoiding our sub baby like you did when you went to get cigarettes and left little mooch boy and mom mom Mike at the altar I it'd be weird if I went to get cigarettes at the altar that's very strange I'd just be like hey alright I'll even see you later <laughs> you made a lot of good points in your rant, but may I offer a counter argument that I do like owning physical media, therefore we're at an impasse because we cannot possibly both be right. Touche. Yep, that guy's pretty good. Yeah, okay. Let's go to the next game. We also mulligan to five of this game, so... I think we're fine. I mean, we shouldn't necessarily have to mulligan to five, so. It was hard for me to figure out a name for Mike's mom. I just went with Mom Mike. That's solid. That's a classic. You can't really go, can't really go wrong with that. Is 
This is kind of rough. I'm going to keep it. I think it's still a good hand. If we hit a... I guess we have a three drop. A two drop would be great here, followed by a land. Well, no bueno. But we did hit a land. So... There are so many three drops. This format is ripe with three drops. Hmm. Kitty cat, kitty cat. Boo -doo 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 -doo. I mean, ideally they don't have red mana. You know, that'd be great. These lands look amazing. Ooh, they don't have red mana. Is it into the royal this guy time? That seems worse than just waiting till I, till I landfall next turn. Kitty cat, kitty cat, which I think that's what they're gonna do. Yeah, I mean we're, we're not gonna replay this guy even if they bounce it. So. Yep, here we go. Oh, it's just gonna tap it. Oh, that's even better actually. Dang it. Dang it. So now the question is, Flyer or Lull Mage? This guarantees us the ability to play Turn Timber Ascetic next turn. Yeah, I kind of like that better. It puts less pressure, but it advances our board a little bit better with a, a creature that can block this and also uh, extra mana. I think I have some. I think I have a stork that I want you to help put Nen Nen ri Zen Rising cards in and then play. It has six mana. Oh, okay. Oh, how nice. How nice. What's this Jace going for? Like nothing. Oh, like six tickets. Sure. To draw a Paragon is interesting. I can also kick it. So I just get to attack and eat and eat this? That seems fine. Oh. What? Their Jace was like draw one card? So, draw two. And we're just going to obviously keep our fingers crossed for being able to cast that guy. How should I send it to you? Kyle, can you email me at, at frank at franklaport.com? Is this a deck donation? Are you going to pay me money to play this deck? Are we going to slow fire our, our decade long? Well, this is not. <laughs> yeah, big fan, by the way. Yeah, I'm like, well, lands are still frustrating even in Zendikar. I mean, they have to double block this guy. And then we get to eat both. Or are we just gonna... Oh, yeah. Three and one. Three and one. Sounds good. We got six mana. I don't think this guy's. I think it's just better to play a five four here, but. If I draw red here, I have a chance. That's kind of scary. Maybe not. <laughs> oh. I mean, this is just a big giant cleric. That's pretty cool. Kyle, send me the email. We'll talk about it. Uh, 
Oh man, we just get to draw another. We get to gain another three life. Unbelievable. Three, four, five. All right. We're probably just playing the disruption of the land. Actually, I mean, they're hard on land here. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, this puts us at a seven, which is one away for kicking inscription, which is super cool, but I think this is a little stronger. Oh, what up, little roosty bird? Do I have another wizard? I don't. This is a wizard. Okay. That's a wizard of the coast. So one, two, three, four. F or we can just put a counter on this. How good is that? Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. They put them to one, and they really are incentivized to block there. Actually, I still kind of have to block here, so. Yeah, we're just going to keep disruption up. Oof. Four, five, six... I'll counter it with my land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to give them the GGs. <laughs> Out of the royal. They block here. And they did. GGs. All right, good times. Guys, we won our first Zendikar match. Oh, Jesus. So many grow tags. Yeah, Molten Blast is good. Oh yeah, okay. That deck seems, that seems good. Guys, if you're looking for a sweet internet security solution, check out nordvpn.org slash franklapore. You can get an amazing deal on a two-year subscription. You can get 68% off along with a free month. They are a sponsor of the stream currently for the time being. Um... And uh, it's a great way to support the channel. 68% off two-year subscription. It's ridiculous. VPNs are great because they uh, let you browse safely in peace. And you can also uh, unlock region-locked content on things like Netflix or Hulu, what have you. Uh, I'll keep this hand. Again, three drop, three drop, three drop, five drop. So, Green source. <laughs> That's a, another three drop. For some reason, R&D is like, hey, all these kicker cards, let's make them three drops. And you're like, why? And they're like, well, because it got kicker. And you're like, okay, that's weird, but all right. I think we just play this as a green source. Yeah, we don't have to do anything here. The only things we could play is Field Research, which I don't need more cards. Scale the Heights, which I don't have a target for. Which I can't also cast. And Cunning Geyser Mage, which I don't want to, don't really have any, any, any desire to cast it as a 3-drop. I think it's just familiar here. Yeah, you're familiar. Play this. And now we're like in a really good position to start kicking things. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have 6. We can cast this next turn. Play Cunning Geyser Mage. Gain 2. Just play our five five four four flyer. They're not playing anything, which is very interesting. That's fascinating. Familiar as a beast? 
What are you saying? Buddha style, good games, buddy. NordVPN should have let me draw a mountain. <laughs> Listen, pal. Listen. What's the sweeper? Is there like a, a red white sweeper in the format? Can someone fill, fill me in on the sweepers? I don't really want to get utterly wrecked. I think we're just attacking for two and playing stupid Valkoner. He's not stupid. I'm sorry, that was rude. Isn't the only sweeper like the like the eight mana one on on that's that's on the land? I mean, I did a whole set review. I don't know if you guys remember. I also assume there's no mana tithes in red or white. So this is very weird that they have not had a play for the for the first five turns. <laughs> I'm kind of I'm kind of unsure what's going on. Yeah. So there's got to be something, right? Six drop. Journey to Oblivion. For five. For the full five. Sure, sounds good. Four, five. Okay. Okay. I mean, I guess we can just field research. Draw three. Gain two. What could go wrong? When I said I didn't realize the familiar is an actual beast. Yeah, it's totally beast. Duh. Also, I mean, I feel like we're in good shape. Our hand is pretty stacked. We have Visionary, Sproutling to get back this or this or this or this. I mean, it definitely could be Shatter Skull Smashing. Like, it's one of the only things I can think of here. Four, five, six, seven. We play this for four. Are we keeping anything up? Not really. Oh, we just win the game. <laughs> Apparently, a 3-5 was too much for them to deal with. Yeah, that's pretty good. I understand, but... Hey, are you okay? <laughs> I kind of like Broken Wings just because we did see the enchantment. So, that was a strange game. What did they keep? Fucking seven lands, journey, and then or six lands, journey, and they just drew nothing but lands? Like, it's definitely possible. I'm going to mulligan. Yeah, I'll keep this. Uh, I'm going to send the Cleric back. I just don't think it's exciting. It's a two-drop, which is fine, but I'd rather play other things. So this guy into this guy, if we hit a land. Come on, there's so many three-drops. Just give me a three-drop. Oh, wow. Foil Archpriest of Iona. Maybe they were splashing red-white. Wow, okay, so it's just an aggressive deck that we literally didn't see any aggressive cards out of. Seems good. That's a yikes for me, dog. Um, what in the hell? It can't block and it can't attack. So that's that's something right there. They're going to get rid of this guy, attack for four, give us another construct. And that's actually pretty insane. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I'm definitely just trading. I'm not going to take three when I have a Goblin Construct. Geyser Mage number dose. Sure, let's see if this guy does anything. Yeah, you play that extra card just in case you're facing the blue black uh Merfolk the, the blue black rogue deck. Return a land. 
And they did, even though they don't have any... I guess they're just going to play a two drop here. Sure. I'm just fine with like trading with all your guys. You seem like a much much more aggressive deck. And like our deck seems to have a ton of life gain. Draw a card. Okay. Okay. I mean next turn we can go Dauntless Survivor and uh Broken Wings. Keep it Broken Wings. Uh, if it was kicked, it enters the battlefield with a 1-1. One, one, so 5-4. Very good. Very good. Yep. Okie dokie. So we bounce this guy, but then they just cast him again. Hunter's having some dreams over here. Um... Hunter's having some real loud dreams. Oh, we can also bounce the Goblin Construct next turn, which is pretty sweet. Yep, that's pretty good. Yep, that's pretty bad. So this is a Flyer. Huh. Our deck always does real well in the first game and then real bad in the second game. And then the third game, we kind of do all right. I mean, we've already seen three rares from them. Four rares. Like, they've literally played four rares this game. So, you know. Yeah, go to one. That's not going to do it. All right. Seems good. Uh, this guy's definitely coming in. And we're probably not putting in any more. Uh... Turn Timber Ascetic seems pretty decent against them. Take out one scale. Uh, I don't think I care. It's still probably going to just win the game at some point. Kaiser Mage, Kaiser Mage, Field Research. It's vision. Visionary is good though. It just blocks their things, draws us a card. Don't want to cut flyers. I think it's just Arbor Mage. I don't think we're the aggressor in this matchup, and I think Arbor Mage is pretty aggressive. Mm, I'll keep it and hope for a green source. Also, Paragon triggers Diviner. Green source? That would have been too good. Green source? No land whatsoever. Great. Fantastic. Oh boy. Even with spells that act as lands. Oh, fucking wonderful. Card is actually surprisingly obnoxious. Um, Bubble Snare, and Paragon. I 
I mean, any land is fantastic for us. And I guess we have Sproutling if we just don't hit a land. Eh. I don't love it. I want to get value out of these kicker spells. Especially when we have two four drops that we could easily cast. Chonda Emblem Maker. Yeah, it's... Yeah. Exactly. What does this do? Whenever a land is a battlefield exile the top card, sure. It's just basically... um. Yes. That's what Father likes. I think this guy is a more aggressive threat here, so I'm going to play it so I can try to close out this game a little quicker. Diviner's nice, but... Sure. Oh, they missed a land drop? <laughs> okay. You know what's funny? We can actually inscription... This and this. But I don't think we need to do that yet. We still have threats and things. We have seven power on the board. Oh, they... <laughs> nice. It does say play the card. So if, if, it, if they... It's, it's weird because it says play the card. But, like, because it triggers from lands... What does this do? Uh, target creature gets plus one, plus one and for each creature in your party. That did nothing. Is that dude riding a chicken? No, dude, he's riding a... A, a moa. Everybody knows that. So if they block here, they take six. I guess we just attack with these, right? There's no, there's no real benefit to this. Now we can either play 5-4 or Sproutling, which will get back the Paragon, which is pretty sweet. I think we're just going to play the 5-drop in game three. It's a New Zealand thing. <laughs> you wouldn't understand. What is this one? Fissure Wizard. So it's just a 2-1 for 2 that you get to get the loot. Okay. Bunch of junk. So we just win here? Yeah, we just win. Get in there with that construct. Blah! Yeah, so this is pretty much how the matches have gone so far. Fissure Wizard. Fissure, fissure Wizard. That's not... It's not a thing, I guess. I would say this draft has gone well. Reasonably well. Um, Because of the Balagid Sanctuary, I'm kind of tempted to keep this. Because it is two lands. And <laughs> like three drop, three drop, three drop, three drop, three drop. Fucking five three drops in our hand. That's insane. This format is... Why don't they ever look at this? It's so weird. Like, I feel like if you draft this format like twice, you're like, oh shit, there's a lot of five, there's a lot of three drops. Eh. I'm still going to play it. I still think it's probably better as a land here because we only have three lands. And scale, I want to be able to have, I want to have lands to, to put into play with scale, and I want to be able to hit scale on three in case we hit no other lands. Yeah, the red and the white one suck, so it's But can't you... I was like, can't you just change them? So that they suck less? It's so weird to, like, just cancel out a cycle like that. You're like, eh. They sucked. What if you just made them suck less? Oh, yeah. Canopy Bailoth seems real good. So does this guy, I guess. I kind of want to hit a land so you can go land, counter, land, and then have a 5 4. Oh boy, for now we're just taking 6. This guy seems bananas if you can get them down on turn 3. I guess it doesn't have trample, so that's good. Can I draw a bubble? That would be cool. Bubble. That's not. That's not it. God, just mono four power creatures dot deck over here.
And we only hit one land. Nice. Nice. And now they're going to play a land, and they're going to tap this guy and attack for 10. Yeah, this is probably over. Yep. Okay. That's all I need to see. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to amass a board big enough that, that is able to stop these two friggin' creatures by themselves. I will bring in this guy again. And we'll just submit like that. That's ridiculous. Yep, all right. Oof. Uh, actually, we have two two drops. A three drop? I'm pretty sure I did not have double blue to bounce the two. Oh, it's only single blue. That changes things. What is this guy? Eh. Whatever. I don't think it has to do with greed. I just think I didn't see the play. Like, I don't, I don't know how that's greedy because it's like it, it, greed implies that I'm trying to get away with something that I shouldn't be able to get away with. And like, that's not really... Like green usually implies going for the 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 card. Yeah, I know. I, I already corrected myself. Um, green implies going for the card like with the biggest payoff, and like that definitely. I what I did was definitely not the biggest payoff. So. Yikes. Okay. Land. Well, it is a land. I mean, it's not a land. It's a card we can cast, is what I meant to say. All right, so many people in my party. I got a warrior. Whatever this guy wants to be, and a rogue. Loving it. Cool. Oh boy. I'm just gonna cast this guy. It sucks. It could probably win us the game at some point, but I mean, we could just cunning geyser mage it back, I guess. So now this thing is a 4-4, so the only creature we have that gets through is Tajiro Blight Blade. It's always hard to, to solidify that 3-0. Yep, that guy's a real asshole. Especially when you just can't... <laughs> cool. Yep, sounds good. Good times. So now we have Wizard, Rogue, Warrior, and Cleric. Got that full party. Yep, that card's bananas. Yep. You guys remember Islands? Cool. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on twitch.tv slash franklparmanatraders.com where you'll get 20% off your first three months of any subscription. Uh, NordVPN.org slash franklpore is a great way to support the channel. 68% off a two-year subscription along with a month free. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.